You probably know those E-Trade ads with the talking babies. Well, there's a new one about a baby lover's quarrel and a milkaholic named Lindsay. And that one's drawn the ire of Lindsay Lowen. The actress says it's an obvious attack on her, and she's filed a $100 million lawsuit to prove it. And it got us thinking, what does it take for one name to be enough for a star? Well, for Jeremy Hubbard, also known as The Hub, this name game is a sign of the times. Just call her Lindsay. No Lohan necessary. Like Madonna and Oprah and Cher and all those other stratospheric celebs, a surname for Lindsay is just redundant. The notion that she has single name recognition is her argument in a lawsuit just filed against E-Trade over this Super Bowl ad featuring a boyfriend stealing baby. And that milkaholic Lindsay wasn't over? Lindsay? Milk a what? It's definitely a reference to Lindsay Lohan. That is a really slutty looking baby. I mean, I don't know that. I don't know from babies, but I have a 10 month old. And he saw her, he stared at her the way that I stare at Lindsay Lohan. Now, her lawyers want $100 million because the baby's name is Lindsay, and they believe was supposed to be her. Lindsay, it seems, thinks she's a trademark and doesn't want other people sullying the name. But come on, people call me the hub, and I don't want it bandied about either. Maybe I should just trademark the name. I wonder how hard that could be. I must have a logo first, the hub, something that conveys class and fun, something that sets me apart from all those other Hubbards out there. Like L. Ron, you and your Scientology have been stealing my thunder for too long. Same with you, Glenn Hubbard, former second baseman for the Atlanta Braves. And don't even get me started on old Mother Hubbard. Always rubbing, scrubbing. Logo in hand, I'm off to the offices of intellectual property attorney Stephanie Fergang Adwar. All right, so let's get it started. What do we have to do now? What are you using your trademark on? You have to use it for goods and services, so what do you want to sell? It can't just be the hub. No, you can't just register a name just to have a name. You actually have to be selling something in, in commerce. Let's do... How about an, an action figure? A hub action figure. Now that we've figured that out, the process is fairly simple. Go to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office website, fill out some forms, fork over $325. Money well spent if you're someone like Lindsay, who this attorney says might actually have a case against E-Trade, though it is a stretch. My first impression was it's a veiled reference to Lindsay Lohan. If it can be proven that the veiled reference to her is what sold the product or what made people uh, buy E-Trade services, then she might have a valid claim. And this could help her case. Just today, an Esquire reporter released this document, apparently showing E-Trade's ad agency purposely changed the baby's name from Deborah to Lindsay, though the agency says it is not a reference to Lohan. Still, these one-name celebs have to protect the brand. Plenty have already trademarked their names, or tried to, to help sell everything from clothes to cologne. The latest to do it? Snooki and those other singular-named sensations from the Jersey Shore. But that's the thing. You have a name like Jay Wow or Mike the Situation. Trademark that. None of us want that. That's yours. Lindsay, public domain. Lindsay's still okay. We still have our Lindsay Vons and our Lindsay Wagners. You can't take Lindsay from us. And if I have my weight, you can't take the hub either. So it could be how long until the hub is mine and mine alone? It could be a year or two. Uh, it could be longer with an intent to use application. Depends on how long it takes you to use the mark. Two years? I wonder if someone as famous as Lindsay would have to wait that long. I'm the hub for Nightline in New York.